But I'm going to take me another hit real quick because it's the morning time and I got a lot of work to do today. You feel me? So if y'all got some coffee, if y'all got some weed, y'all do the same real quick, you know? And then I'm going to get into this because his next story is funny about Tim Scott motherfucking ass in the Republican Party. They're going to try to put Tim Scott into the race. <laughs> the fuck out of here. <laughs> Republicans, they go vote for Tim Scott, black ass. They go put that, get the fuck out of here. Not only that, not only are Republicans not going to vote for Tim Scott, black ass, but Tim Scott ain't got no damn personality or charisma. You feel me? Exactly. Puff politics and paper. Here we go. I'm going to take, you know, like I said, join me. You feel me? That was some grown man shit right there. You feel me? It's Christmas time too. We we, we getting there, you dig? <coughs> uh, uh. Okay. Cheers, everybody. It's Monday, you dig? But we ain't gonna complain about it. I spilled some coffee on my phone. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Ooh. Somebody text me. All right, let's get back to it. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, look. So, basically, they're trying to say, Trump who? This is in Politico. It says, Trump who? GOP senators rave over a potential Tim Scott presidential run. No. No, no, that, that's not going to happen. Y'all motherfuckers might as well save y'all goddamn money. Because like I said before, while the music was blasting, first and foremost, Tim Scott, even before we get into the uh, uh, other issues, he's not popular enough. And that shit matters, especially like it's crunch time. You feel me? Like um, anybody on either side. And this goes for the Democratic Party, too. You know, all of us would love to see uh, somebody challenge Biden, but they better hurry the fuck up and, and show and show that ass. You know what I'm saying? Um, so it, it's uh, it, for Tim Scott. It, no, I, I don't need. I, I would be. I would be surprised if he even ran because again, it really would just be a waste of money. Um, <clears throat> it's looking like. I mean, it'll be Trump and DeSantis. Um, we'll see what happens with that. Uh, and then again, on the Democratic side, I, I don't see why Biden wouldn't run. I mean, why wouldn't he run? You know what I mean? Like he's he's the incumbent. The whole DNC basically is at his uh, beck and whim. That's how shit goes. And just in general, it's pretty difficult to uh, defeat an incumbent president regardless. I mean, it's, it has happened a handful of times. But, you know, I mean, I don't really I don't really suspect that. Um, oh, yeah. John. Yes. John Fetterman's campaign. And, and, and one of the things, uh, thanks for saying that too, Libby. And one of the things that I like the most about John Fetterman's campaign is above all else, it shows that substance matters. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and not just um, in, in politics, but with anything, it goes to show. Um, when, when, when there's really some substance and some meat behind what you do every day, whatever it is that you get up for, you know, it, it, it could be simple things that just give you enjoyment. If, there, as long, if there's purpose and substance, there's going to be some progression. There's going to be something on the other side of it. Oftentimes we feel like there's no progress, but really when you look back, that's all that there is. And one of the things that I, I've been talking about across the networks a lot is um, uh, one, one of the biggest silver linings and just everything is that the millennial and Gen Z generations were now a, 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 in a managerial position. I just turned, well, not just shit. I turned 30 in January. I'll be 31. Um, this upcoming January, but many, you know, millennials are, you know, pushing 40 or early forties. Then we got the Gen Zers who are, you know, just a little bit below me, you know, like late mid twenties, early twenties. But again, you kind of get into those thirties and forties. You've, especially if, if you were some salt, right. We get no, <laughs> but, but again, you know, if you spent, if you spent your twenties, you know, really doing some genuine living, I'm not, you know, um, 
having experiences, some real work experiences, pursuing what it is that your goals are, having real relationships with people such that, you know, you understand just life a bit more experience. That gives us the ability to do things like participate in political offices or leadership positions and companies in, in a better way. You know what I'm saying? You 20, and I think about yourself, like I'm 30 now, I think about myself when I was 25. You know, some of the stuff that I'm doing now, like I just flat out wasn't mature enough. You know what I mean? Even when I think about just like other stuff that have nothing to do with work, like for instance, like my like my dating life, like how much better I am at dating now just because I'm older and I have had more experiences. So it's the same way, you know, with politics. Now we don't really have to worry too much about these old dinosaur motherfuckers. We can just get them, we can just fuck we gotta fuck them you know what i'm saying it's our time now you know what i'm saying i got money in my pocket i'm not saying i'm rich but i i, I didn't shit I, I i can i can travel i can organize with people i can go meet up with people i can make phone calls i'm sitting there talking to y'all now I'm, I'm on tyt you know all of us we take care of our loved ones that's really all it is you feel me we're adults now basically is what i'm getting at <laughs> you know what i'm saying so uh while we're at this place in our lives let's go ahead and take over you feel me I mean, that's the way I see it. I don't really give a fuck about these old motherfuckers no more. You know what I'm saying? 